Hey guys, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, where I talk super fast in the intro, and you guys are just like, what the heck is that? And, you know, just, uh, okay, anyways, guys, just, just do it casually. Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda, oh, okay, that's too slow, you gotta get, like, excited, so, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, see, that was perfect right there. Anyways, open that, that switch, and you're gonna go to the right side of this thing, whoa, okay, we don't want to get hit, but we just did, but, yeah, get that way out of here. I don't know what kind of voice that was, but anyways, I just like came from watching the NBA draft, and you know what? John Wall got picked first, so yeah, I'm a huge NBA fan. Oh my god, I'm a huge NBA fan, so that's a little something you guys will know. I'll be talking about the NBA a lot. See, basketball is like my favorite sport, so yeah. I don't know if you guys like know that song. With, like, actually, everyone should know about that song. It's like, basketball is my favorite song. Okay, I'll just stop singing because it'll ruin your ears and just gonna be like, unsubscribe to Beast and You Forever because it's saying that basketball song. But, anyways, I have this like video that I recorded with my camera. Um, it's like a vlog basically, just showing you. I'll show you guys my room and crap like that. Um, I don't know when I'll post that up though. Possibly tomorrow, perhaps. But most likely not tomorrow. But basically that was it right there, and we can just go back in and take this thing out and go back upstairs. Yeah, but I have that video recorded. We just fixed this. I know you guys will hear that little like sliding thing while Link is like going up the stairs. What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? Link was like inside the thing. I know I, saw, I caught that kind of late, but when I pressed down, he went back down the stairs. Like that was just weird. Is that a glitch or something? Well, that was really weird. Okay, never that that never happened to me before. Oh, we gotta take away this uh, thing again, so... Ooh, there we go. This is why we love the hook shot, and this is why we kind of hate it, too. There we go. And... kind of want that magic potion. I know, like, it looks like it's, like, a little bit delayed, what I'm talking here. And I do feel like that right now, that I'm talking a little bit delayed. But trust me, it's really not. And it's gonna be hell sinking this video. Okay, so stab that. Yeah, this thing works like a boomerang on most enemies, too, so... That's a little bit something you guys, uh, could share with other people. Let's pick up the skull though. This must be okay, there's nothing on that skull. And dodge everything before I get hit and go to the next room and then go downstairs here. So we are pretty much almost done with this dungeon basically. And then after that there's a lot of things we have to do. Okay, why are we here? Oh, because we were supposed to go up up. We didn't really need to go around. We just went to the right side so we can drain the thing. Okay, see. Uh, go ahead and go to the very room right here and if you need like potions and stuff, this is the room. They have to be in. Oh, these things are really fast. I hate these things. So yeah, we get some, get as many rooms as we can get, and hopefully dodge that thing before it comes out, which we did. Cool. But yeah, I don't know when I'll post that video though. Possibly like tomorrow or something, or later at night, or when this episode comes up. You know what though? Like, it's really awesome how I. What was awesome again? Oh yeah, me. But it's really awesome. Like, I cleaned my room just for that. Well, not really cleaned it. Just like spiff it up, spiffy it up, yeah, spiff it, spiffy. I don't know. It's like a verb, you, like an adjective you use when someone looks cool or great. Spiffy. Um, that's something you might you might miss here. So Jack just got to the right a little bit, so we can actually go down here without any problems. And then we're gonna bomb this wall right here before we take on the boss, which is pretty simple though. See what I like about recording on the SNES is like um. The, there's not much of a delay that I can like fix because what happens to the Visual Boy Advance it tends to like desync after like four or five seconds even if I like do it perfectly because while well, the virtual what the uh, virtual dub does is like it ruins all the frame rate lag that I usually have on it so yeah that's why dude can you get up the ladder please oh my god Okay, there we go, see? That's why you never rush anything. Now, before you enter the boss room, make sure to equip the hook shot. And this boss is actually pretty easy if you know what you're doing. Which I do know what I'm doing. So, like, defeat all this popcorn stuff right here. I don't really think it's popcorn. It takes two hits, they're master swords, so... Yeah, it's basically what you gotta do. Just, like, go around him and stuff like that. And he has this little attack where, like, he spins, but... You can easily dodge it, to be honest. So, yeah, it's not even that hard of a boss. The only hard thing about it is... Well, it's hard. Well, not like literally, but yeah, but it's kind of difficult after you defeat all these popcorns. Oh my god, we missed something. There we go, grab them. Just grab them. Then it gets a little bit kind of difficult when you have to like specifically grab one. So, let's see. But, you know, this, this is why I love the hookshot because it's like Scorpion is from Mortal Kombat. It's like, COME OVER HERE! But I didn't get anyone. Oh, cool, we got the hardest one to get. Which is 
I don't I had no idea how I was gonna get that one, but surprisingly I got it. Whoa. I'm get this guy right here. Wow! Come on. There we go. And this thing is the hardest part of the game, so what I like to do is uh just like have my sword out right here. Because he stomps on you like crazy. There we go. And maybe you have to use the hook. Okay, no, you can't use the hook shot. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on here. Why can't I hit it? Oh my god, we're gonna die. Oh, how did I? Okay. I know you use the hook. Do you use the hook shot? Oh, there we go. See, you just gotta slash it. Why wasn't it working a little bit earlier? And there we go. See, you just gotta keep on moving around because sometimes it will just land on you like with no mercy. It's like, ah, you're dead, no, but you know, like. So, see, he lands on like where you are going to be, but he's almost done though. I think I would like to think he's almost done. Come on. Okay, you gotta. I think you gotta slash it from the side, I guess. I never really like pay attention to how you kill this guy. Wow! That sounded like a wolf. Just kill it. Now, come on. There we go, dude. Why aren't you dead yet? Let's see if I can just spin slash it. Cause it does like double the damage. Ooh, there we go. See? Yeah, yeah. Spam me with my hook shot. Cause I'm awesome. What I like about the hook shot it goes all the way across the screen, but you can't really grab that piece of heart. So you gotta grab it yourself. So I'm just run into it. Got a piece of heart. Well, not even a piece of heart, it's like a whole heart container, too, so... Yes! Yes! We got a crystal! We got a crystal! We got a crystal! Yeah! Okay, we gotta stop doing that kind of voices. Okay, so Link, like, holds it up for, like, the longest time, I swear to God. And I really love this 3D effect they did here. It's really advanced from its time, I guess. Uh, Chubby! You dead son of a Because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters! You fat son of a Thank you. The Triforce will grant the wishes of the whoever touches it, as long as that person lives. <laughs> you can die soon. That is why it was hidden in the Golden Land. Only a select few know of its location like me, and I'm telling you now. So I think you're the hero of destiny, I guess? But, well, at least at some point that knowledge was lost, so the person who rediscovered the Golden Land was Ganondorf, the evil thief. But it's kind of like taking the form of Ganon, so you're not going to see this former Ganondorf because, well, yeah, you suck, and you're fat. Luckily, he couldn't figure out how to return to the light world, though. So, yeah, well, remember that you have magical powers, which only the hero can make the most of. Remember that! Okay! Okay! There are some other magical warping points like the one you saw in Death Mountain. By using them, you can go between the two worlds and find the evil hidden in the dark world. Oh my god, there's like a lot of saliva on my tongue here. You are the only one who can destroy Ganondorf twice! Not twice, five times! I think it's like eight times the same to the world now, I don't even know how many times to defeat Ganondorf even in the future, so... Yeah! Oh, uh, the team! No, Ganondorf, the evil king of darkness! Do you understand? Not really, but uh, you know what? For you to shut up, we'll just say yes. Made the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. Peace! Yeah, we get all our hearts back, which is pretty awesome. And usually, we have a lot of things to do before we go to the other dungeon. Ow! Anyways, we're gonna head on to the sanctuary here. Oh, head on to the sanctuary. Yeah, we have the hookshot. What am I doing? Okay, sanctuary is over there. Where, well, where's the sanctuary? Right here? Well, sanctuary is like underneath Death Mountain, so we gotta head on there. Ow, okay, there's a wall there, too. Yeah, but there's a lot of things you can actually do here. Uh, maybe first I'll get the heart piece that you can get when you go to, like, uh, Dark World Pseudo Link's House, or whatever it's called. But, there's a lot of enemies here, oh my god. Well, there's a Dark World, where it's, like, full of darkness and stuff. You know, right now I'm currently pl replaying Final Fantasy IX. There's this other elf here that I've been watching, I just described to him as, like, Orange Lightning or something like that. But, yeah, I really like... Final Fantasy 9, so anyways, if you talk to this guy, 100 rupees for 30 bombs, 100 bombs for 100 rupees, please. Okay, wait. Maybe we can't do this just yet, so... Let's go ahead and head on to the Sanctuary. This thing's actually a glitch. Yeah, I can actually do... Whoa, we landed on him with, like, our sword out, too, so there we go. That's cool. That's cool, that's really cool. Uh, you know what? I don't even know why I'm killing, trying to kill these guys to do so much damage, but... All that for one bomb! Oh my god, screw that guy! Mental middle finger is up! Okay, now... Let's go ahead to the sanctuary, please. Head on to the sanctuary. Okay, where's the hammer at? Yeah, maybe I should be cutting there, but yeah. Really, cutting is overrated when it comes to Zelda, because you know, I don't like watching Zelda LPs so with like a lot bunch of cutting stuff, unless it's like super, super far away. But Link to the Past's map is like relatively short compared to the other ones too, so there's really not much to complain. Now, where's that bridge that we got to? Okay, right here. 
and kill this guy, kill this guy too, and kill this guy. Okay, and I think you just grab across here. Oop, you have the hammer on. I thought I had the. Okay, wait a, wait a minute. What the heck? Oh, okay, it's right there. I mean, shoot, I'm so stupid. Oh my god, it's already been 10 minutes. Okay, so grab on here, and you guys were like, How'd you do that? How'd you even know about that? I was like, I don't know. But, there we go. And there's something hidden there? Okay, there's nothing hidden there. Uh, okay, there we go. We're almost there to the part. Now, you might need a Titan Myth to do this, but relatively you don't. But, anyways, I'm just going to stop the video right around here, and you know, I'll just, like, right here, and then on the next episode, I can actually just gather some stuff. Uh, you can't really push it, so go on right there. Haha, <laughs> there we go. Anyways, the beasting you forever, signing out. And I'm using the magical mirror in the next episode because I gotta look at my fat face. Anyways, guys, bye bye.